I got here a warrant for your arrest, or the other thing if it comes to it. <laughs> a federal. Come away peacefully and you can live, Mr. Wofford. We need a man on the cranker! Get him! You hurt! Guess all that remains is to take you in. Oh, lackey! Sit tight. And get us to San Denis. I won't go there. I won't. Ain't really up to you, partner. called United States. Now, this ain't de jure. The federal government don't have no jurisdiction over me. I'm a citizen of the free state of Lemoyne and am subject to state law law. Understand that, you dumb bastard? <gasps> Country's become. It's a cesspit. <clears throat> Sounds like one for the lawyers. You're a brave girl. The Lamorne Raiders ain't done yet. We are bloody. Enough with the words. Ain't in the mood. Normally, but you're a Lemoyne Raider, right? So I thought I'd say 
I'm bunking at your old place at the moment. Shady Bell? You the fellers that took the bell? You murdering animals! You savage Yankee bastards! You'll get your comeuppance, all right? You know, I ain't sure that we will. Almost at an end. Oh, I hope the night folk get you, you son of a bitch, and hang you from a tree. Yeah, this is it. Damn the police. Damn every one of them. Traitors. Come on. Hey, fellas. Good for you. This place ought to thank you. When the time comes, you'll be the first against the wall. Got a live one for you. Well, looky here. We got a genuine Lamont Raider in the building. <laughs> Make the poor fella comfortable in one of our cells. <laughs> Bet you ain't felt the bed in a while. Damn traitor's bed. Get me off of here. Calm down. Well, that's what they were, and not a penny more. That's it. Chief, you get this fella out of here. Get out of here, you traitor. Yep. Okay, bud. Oh. Fantastic. You Americans are nothing but shysters and traitors and slippery tongue bull suckers. I'm inclined to agree. Ah, here, help me, please. I'm back to work with a bloody smile. <laughs> no problem, Marco. You are the great genius, so we shall the hot poker up the ice. Say thank you, Marco. Thank you. Oh, thank you. What are you? Some kind of. A European toy maker? No, I am a fucking genius with poker up the ass, like I say. <laughs> toy maker. Hello? Do I look like I should entertain children? No. No, he says. <laughs> no. <laughs> I am the savior of the mankind, buddy. Yes, you meet him. Professor Marco Dragic. <laughs> the one the silver tongue American betrayed and not paid the money to. Yes, he told to shit, man. So, uh, what's this toy about? It is not a toy, Big Nuts. It is demonstration of my genius, of my ideas about the source of life. Oh, it's a toy boat. Yes, it is a toy boat that I can power remotely using electricity in ways you cannot see. Good for you. Ah! Ways I cannot see. And still the investors will not come. Just a couple of old ladies and a moron. <laughs> ladies, please. <clears throat> ladies! <laughs> Gentlemen! <laughs> Enchanté. <laughs> Hello. Hello, sir. <laughs> okay. Uh, how is the piles? Yeah? Good, good, good. Okay. Uh, my friends, you are about to witness history. A demonstration of my infinite insight. All of us, we feel old. You, you are old. Oh. But maybe I can make you immortal. Yeah. <laughs> Using waves you cannot see, I will power this You're boat. a goddamn fraud. And this buffoon dressed up like a buffoon is a stoolie. 
I watched them conspire, you morons. I never met this buffoon before two minutes ago. Isn't that right? Which part of it? So, Professor, show us your magical toy boat. Only this time, let the buffoon control it. Check if there's any funny business. No, this ain't nothing to do with me. Come, please, please. Uh, it, it is easy. Any moron could do it, and I am about to prove that. Here, take this, and this, and... Uh, don't touch that. Use these ones to steer, and this one to shoot torpedoes, okay? Yes, now, now blow up the little battleships, and, and avoid the sea mines. They have magnets attached. They can miss the explosion if they touch the bottom. Okay! If this silly dimwit can use torpedoes on board to destroy the battleships, imagine what technology can do in the hands of certified genius! And I have certificate. Hey, it's doing what I'm telling it. Of course it is doing. Now tell it to do closer to battleship and shoot with torpedo. You see what he does? No wire like telegraph. No pulley system underwater. Only waves in the air. This is remarkable. Think of those poor boys on the HL Hamlet. Eight of them perished to a mere five on the Housatonic. And what a way to go. Trapped in a box at the bottom of the bay. I suppose you intend to make an unmanned killing machine? You misunderstand. This is the secret to life. Not death. The transmigration of the soul. I make lifeless metal breathe like man. Well, I'm not sure about that. Another one down. I'm getting the mastery of this. Show them one more. Oof. Torpedoes do not have so much range. I am an invisible wave engineer, not a rocket physicist. There, I'm gone for you. Ha-ha! <laughs> yes, you see what he does? Now, bring the boat back to the dock. That sure was something. Let me just reload her. <laughs> this is really remarkable. This is just a, a demonstration of my prowess, sir. <laughs> the real miracles require investment. <laughs> ah. Now the dimwit will use invisible waves to destroy the little sailing boats before they get to other side of pond, still avoiding magnetic mines. No, we'll attempt to, at least. Shush! You're not here for this smart talk. The steam train, the telegraph machine, the motor car. They will all seem pedestrian in comparison to this technology. We are not reliant on wires or coal or gasoline. No, just rays in the air. Like the voice of God. And funding from us? And funding from you, of course. But what a thing to fund! What an opportunity! No one is stupid enough to pass this up. Not even him with here. Hey, you really all work on your salesmanship. Ah, Americans! All you think about is sales! Look who rules the seas! Very good, very good. Now bring in the boat back here. <laughs> As I say, any fool, huh? Thank you, thank you. What is that? It is the stuff of life, sir. It's incredible. No, no, no. Incredible things are in my lab back at Dover Hill. That will astound all of you. Mr. Marcel, can I count on your support? Well, this is expensive. It is immortality, sir. It is, it is very cheap. Perhaps over lunch. 
Maybe. I'm gonna go. Oh, yeah, of course. And, and thank you. Um, if you're ever up near Dover Hill, pay me a visit. There, I will really amaze you. Um, <coughs> I hope you will forgive my 